So hi, hello and welcome, Micro Hunter here. Well, this here is a uh, bamboo, and today I would like to put a little bit of uh, bamboo, a bamboo leaf under the microscope. It's not a very common specimen, uh, I do know, um, but I'm going to show you today a few preparation techniques uh, that I use to make uh, the bamboo leaf uh, visible under the microscope. Well, uh, it's uh, relatively thick. Uh, it's of course composed of several cell layers, and uh, for therefore I decided to experiment around a little bit and to process the leaf in such a way that uh, you can look at it under the microscope. Now I'm living in Central Europe, so bamboo is not a very common plant here. But luckily I found uh, yeah, a little bit of bamboo near the place where I lived. Well, I put the bamboo into a cup of water, the leaf uh, I put into a cup of water to keep it a little bit fresh. So it's actually quite important. And then I simply cut out a little uh, square and uh, try to observe it directly under the microscope in the hope that I'm able to see something. Well, my expectations, of course, were not uh, particularly high uh, because I know that uh, if you put objects directly under the microscope uh, without any preparation, then chances are pretty good that you're not able to see a lot because uh, yeah it's too dark usually or the specimen is too thick and there's too little contrast and I was really positively surprised look at this I said wow it's cells all of those boxes are cells Th th that's what I thought <laughs> but uh, then I realized they, they are way too big this, this, this cannot be cells and so when I increased uh, the magnification sure enough I did see um, yeah that uh, essentially these structures are way too large to be cells there are some nice uh, interesting spikes here on the edge of the leaf as well but uh, those boxes that you see, these are, um, well, actually several cells together and the white uh yeah, lines, these are, that's the vascular tissue. So this is where the water is transported. So these are not the cell walls, but rather there are too many cells that are not visible to be seen because it's simply too green. Um, yeah, I was able to also observe a little bit of photosynthesis. So there was an oxygen bubble slowly growing. It's even this here is time lapse. And uh, so this means that uh, the leaf is still photosynthetically active and the oxygen that's produced is, is given off into the water and then you can actually see the oxygen bubble grow looked quite uh, quite nice as well yeah but those boxes here um yeah these are just uh, the paths uh, where the water is flowing um, and uh, these are not the cell walls um, and uh, i really went up with the magnification later on and um, i was not able to see the individual cells so this was a little bit uh, a disappointment so i decided i have to think of a, a method to process the leaf in such a way that i'm able to see the individual cells and uh, yeah i did find a way i was simply trying to scratch off now some of the layers of the leaf because uh, the leaf uh, I could not cut because it was still too thin so I carefully used a sharp knife to scratch off uh, the top layer uh, um, of, of the leaf uh, of the bamboo leaf and then I put uh, that piece under the microscope again and this was actually significantly more successful this way because by scratching the leaf I removed uh, not only several cell layers but I also removed uh, some of the chlorophyll uh, so that's the green pigment and this made the leaf significantly more more transparent and uh, this was actually the successful way I never tried this before and I think it might not quite work very well with other leaves or leaves of other plants because they might be too soft but a bamboo leaf is, is pretty uh, pretty strong and uh, yeah it was pretty resistant uh, so here um, you still see a lot of chloroplasts it's still quite thick and then as I move over then you can see that uh, the leaf starts to become more and more transparent and uh, all the place over here is, is this is where if you look very carefully now you're able to see the individual cells and you see that the cell wall is not straight but they're squiggly lines yeah that kind of uh, the cells are not straight but they have these uh, wavy lines where they connect to each other I don't know why this is the case maybe this also kind of uh, strengthens a little bit uh, um, the leaf and makes it stronger as well some leaves uh, some of the cells of the leaf are also a little bit rounder as you can see over here but in any case uh, yeah this is a, a new method that I tried out uh, which I never tried before and uh, seems to work quite well here but as I mentioned, I think other leaves that are a little bit softer might not work, might not work quite well this way. But in any case, I'm happy that I'm able to share this method with you. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the next time I'll find another way of, of cutting a leaf, maybe using a micro microtome, or maybe I'm able to put also some bamboo wood under the microscope. I did not try that yet. So there is again going to be a little bit of experimentation here. Well, in any case, I do hope uh, that uh, this uh, video was again a little bit informative and that uh, it also motivates you to to um, yeah, observe bamboo if you have it available in the place where you live and uh, to simply suggest also a couple of other processing and uh, processing technique for specimens. Happy microbe hunting as always yeah? and see you around next time. Bye bye.